the official OpenAI ChatGPT application that has the newly updated ChatGPT4 Omni is now available for macOS. And in this video, I'm simply going to be showing you how you can download it and five practical ways that you can use this to benefit yourself. In order to download this application, you need to go to your browser. And at the time I'm recording this video, this is the only proved way because if you go to the app store, this is not yet available. So you do have to go to OpenAI's official website, which is openai.com, the one that you see right here. And then once you go to products, you can always go to where it says chat GPT login right there. And now if you have an account, you can log in. If you don't have an account, you can always sign up. So I have an account. I will just log in quickly just like that. And now I'm all logged into the web based interface. And the cool thing about the web based interface is well, not just the application is that you get these pop-ups or animations that come to tell you that you can connect apps to access files in chat GPT like documents and spreadsheets which is the newly updated chat GPT and you have the option to change from different GPTs as well but in order to download the official application made available by OpenAI if you click on your profile in the top right corner right there and you can see here I have the option to download the macOS application now at the time I'm recording this video it's kind of unfortunate because you do have to be on a chat GPT plus subscription or a chat GPT team subscription to test this out but OpenAI did mention that they have a plan to make this eventually free for everyone so for me in order to test this out before it becomes available or for free for everyone like OpenAI mentioned I had to go with this chat GPT plus $20 a month subscription so I'll just go there and now you can see if I click on my profile, I can go where it says download the macOS application and boom, it's downloaded and you can always run it through there. Now, since I already downloaded it and added to the application section, you can see if I go here, I have this app and if I launch it, it just looks plain and simple and at the same time when you open it up for the first time there's going to be different prompts and pop-up screens that are going to guide you as to what you can do but this is how it looks when you open it up for the first time now one of the first things that i want to show you here is how you can select different gpts so if you go here where it says chat gpt 4 all this is the latest omni version and you can see here you you can go to the chat GPT 4 section or if you want you can choose chat GPT 3.5 if you're using the non-paid or the free version of chat GPT this is the version that you are currently using and then you also have the option to explore different GPTs some are like GPTs created by the open AI community and then others are different GPTs as well so you can see here you have mentions of DALI you have chat GPT team that this is GPTs created by the chat GPT team and if you go all the way down you can see other GPTs when it comes to productivity research and analysts and you can always add them to this list so that if you click this drop down then you have like a quick selection menu instead of going to the explore section so that's one of the first things that you do need to change and of course if you're paying for chat GPT you want to use the latest and most current one which is going to be chat GPT for Omni. At the time I'm recording this video, the unfortunate thing about this newly chat GPT released application for macOS is that it's only available to Apple Silicon Macs going forward. So if you have an Intel based Mac at the time I'm recording this video, it's not yet available. So hopefully with time, OpenAI extends the broad of devices that supports this chat GPT official application. Another very functional shortcut that's here on your Mac, if you have your key keyboard handy or if you want to quickly trigger chat GPT one thing is you can always press the button option and keyboard just like this and then you notice chat GPT comes up and if it's the first time you're going to be opening this up you're going to see a message that says what can I do for you and you can say what is the date today for example uh, and then if I search you notice it launches the actual chat GPT application and you can see it tells me the exact date today. 
So that's a very quick shortcut that you can use to launch the quick search. Even when you have the application and you want to search something when the app is open, you can always press option and spacebar and then this quick chat message comes up. Another cool handy feature that you might want to try with this ChatGPT application is drag and drop files. So this is a JPEG or an image. And if I drag it and drop it right here, you can see it's there. And then I can say, what can you tell me about this image? ChatGPT scans and now they tell me this image appears to be a thumbnail for a video promoting a graphic related to watchOS 10.5, which is actually pretty amazing from just dragging and dropping. If you have mathematical formulas that you have in pictures or other things you wanted to solve out or pinpoint or description of pictures, you can also do that and just drop them and it will be able to solve that. If you have a certain PDF that you want to summarize or get the main points from, you can always add them right here and then you can ask ChatGPT to give you a summary. Boom, you can see I got the summary of what's included in the PDF and this is from Amazon. It's a PDF of a certain order that I downloaded just to test this out and you can see it's able to give you the main point or a summary of what a certain PDF contains. Alternatively, if you want to attach a file, you can always upload the file here, be it a PDF as you can see or upload an image. If you wanted to take a screenshot of what you're looking at, you can always do this on this text screenshot section and if you have a third party software that you wanted to take the screenshot of for example i have ecamm live which is the software that i'm using to record this video if i just wanted to take a screenshot of just this ecamm live software i would go there if i wanted to take a screenshot of the app that's open on the left of it which is finder then all i have to go is to this section that says chat finder or if i wanted to take a screenshot of the chat gpt window alone that's open i can go there or if I want to take a screenshot of everything, then this is the section where I have to select that says entire screen. And then from that screenshot, you can ask to summarize or to solve the question that it sees in the screen and so on. A cool feature that you might want to try out is conversation mode. And if you click on this headset section, just like this, you notice there's a new pop-up screen that shows up and it's going to tell you that, hey, chat with voice and now you can use just start talking and then you can use it hands-free at the same time chats are saved and language is auto detected so there is a variety of languages that you can speak like english mandarin or french and now you with the first thing that it gives you is the ability to choose a voice so hey it's great to meet you how's your day going i'm really looking forward to working on some cool stuff together okay so let's hear that's the breeze voice let's hear the call hi there I just want to share how thrilled I am to work with you, and I can't wait to get started. Hey, I'm ready to hit the ground running. So if there's anything you'd like me to focus on first, just let me know. Hey there, I've got a really great feeling about us teaming up. How can I jump in and help? This is pretty cool. So I think the Briz voice is the best. So we'll select that and confirm. And now you notice there's a new pop-up screen, new voice mode coming. We plan to launch a new voice mode with new ChatGPT4 Omni capabilities in an alpha within ChatGPT Plus in the coming weeks. We'll let you know when you have access. So then you can watch the demo video. But now if I click say, got it. What's up, ChatGPT? So I am recording a YouTube video demoing some of the ways we can make ChatGPT4 Omni practical for macOS. Can you give the viewers maybe two suggestions? Sure. For making ChatGPT for Omni practical on macOS, here are two suggestions for your viewers. One, integrated voice commands. Utilize ChatGPT for Omni to control various macOS functions through voice commands. For example, you can use it to open apps, dictate messages, or even manage your calendar events. This makes multitasking smoother and hands-free, enhancing productivity. Two, automated task management. Leverage ChatGPT for Omni to automate routine tasks on macOS. You can set it up to handle tasks like organizing files, setting reminders, and sending emails based on voice prompts. This not only saves time, but also ensures you stay on top of your daily activities with minimal effort. 
Yeah, that's pretty. These features can make macOS usage more efficient and intuitive, demonstrating the practical benefits of ChatGPT for Omni. Thank you, ChatGPT. Those were really practical points. You're welcome. I'm glad you found them useful. If you find if you that more suggestions or have any other questions while making your video, just let me know. If you find that ChatGPT is speaking for too long, then you can always interrupt by clicking the interrupt button that comes up here when it's talking. Got it. That interrupt button can be quite handy if you need to manage the conversation flow better during your demo. It's great for keeping things concise and to the point. Anything else you'd like to cover in your video? No, that's all for now. If you can make me a pretty cool thumbnail on how to make chat GPT practical, that would be great. Does this sound that it makes as it's working on something in the background? So let's see what it comes Here up with. Here is a cool thumbnail for your video on how to make chat GPT practical on Mac OS. For me to see the image, I have to post chat GPT and then go back. And now, oh, I actually, okay, yeah, this is the image that chat GPT generated for me. So not the best, but you know, it's worth a mention and it's worth showing right here. Another thing I just wanted to highlight here, if you go into this section and then you go to the settings, there's some pretty cool settings that you might want to check out. So first is a subscription and then you'll be able to see your subscription right there. And then if you want to personalize chat GPT to be able to remember your memory or some of the things that you like and dislike, you can always turn this on. And if you want to customize chat GPT, there's uh, different things that you can enable it to remember. And you can see some chat GPT for capabilities that you can customize. So that's the section there. And now, if you go down, you can see if you want to keep chat GPT on top in this top section, you can turn this menu bar on. And if you want to customize the shortcut or disable it, you can see it's the option and space bar. And if you want to always change the language or set a default one, you can do that from this section as well. And keep in mind that you have other settings that you can do when it comes to updates or haptics. So those are just some of the things that you can do with the new chat GPT application that's here officially for macOS. Hopefully we get to see this supported on more devices and on Windows as well. And at the same time, this is the paid version demo that you've been seeing since I had to get the chat GPT plus subscription. But eventually, like they mentioned, their plan is to make this available for everyone. So one of the coolest and amazing feature that's really good is the ability to upload files and ask it to solve tasks or if you have equations that you don't understand fully it can simplify them and the new voice assistant chat gpt is pretty cool so that's about it for me when it comes to this video let me know what else you want to see if there's shortcuts automations that you want to see then let me know and i'll work on something but that's about it for me stay safe and i'll see you in the next one peace